This year, the race to open ended in a tie as Loveland and A Basin opened on the same day. And the only way they were able to do that this year was with snow that didn't fall from the sky and a little help from down under. Yes, snow is falling from the sky on this early ski season day at Loveland. But the real reason this ski area has already been in operation for more than a month is man-made snow. It's a hard job. You don't just go, oh, I want to be a snowmaker. Craig Olds has been making snow at Loveland for seven seasons now. He's just one of a group of snowmakers from New Zealand, brought into the U.S. every year to give resorts an early season competitive advantage. We pick our people that come here through through the training that they get in New Zealand and the way they're brought up. So what makes these snowmakers from halfway around the world so much better at cheating Mother Nature? It has to do with less than ideal snowmaking conditions in their home country. As, as soon as that temperature hits, our fire up temperature, um, then we need to be on it. Because we might only get a short period and then as soon as the sun comes up again in the morning, we'll be turning off. The job here in Colorado includes late nights and long hours on the mountain, but Olds tells me it's all worth it in the end. Not a lot of people up here at 3 o'clock in the morning kind of walking around going, thank you very much for, for what you do and, and that, but come 9 o'clock in the morning or when people start to turn up, it's, it's good. For the latest ski conditions, reports from the resorts and ski area webcams, go to myoutdoorscolorado.com and click on the ski and snowboarding logo.